Oh, I received a seven dollar tip for an anonymous tipper. First of all, thank you to the anonymous tipper. Thanks for the seven bucks. I don't know who you are, but thank you so much. And they said, what do I think about the Mr. Beast curing the blind controversy? Uh, I personally, I think it's a win-win scenario. People who oppose it don't know how life works, in my opinion. You want to know the truth? I don't know. I, I, I saw that there was a big uproar about it um, on social media, like Twitter. And I guess some people made videos about it. I never watched any of it. I don't know exactly what happened. And since I don't know, and nor do I, I have all the facts, I feel like I should speak on it. Um, I've been critical of Mr. Beast before in the past, all right? Why? Because all I know of this guy is that he's literally rich for doing stuff on YouTube that seems to me like, like, how would you call it? Like, is it charity? I guess, yes. You, I guess you could call it charity, but it depends on your definition of charity. Are they good deeds? I guess, yes. I would say, yeah, they're good deeds, what he does, but is it considered charity? I don't know because, again, I, all I can speak of is from my own upbringing, all right? My own upbringing, which may not be the same as your upbringing, Okay, and that's fine. I'm not criticizing that. I mean, my upbringing, I was, I was raised Roman Catholic. And as a Roman Catholic, what I was always told was that charity means that you're doing something for good for someone. That number one is some kind of a sacrifice to yourself. And number two is something that does not benefit you. You're not doing it for personal benefit. You're doing it solely for the purpose of helping someone else. That's what I was taught growing up is charity. So if you take a look at someone like Mr. Beast, is he doing good, good deeds? I mean, I guess so. Again, I don't know. I never really researched the guy. It sounds like he is doing good things. But is he doing them at great personal sacrifice? Not at all. He's filthy rich, and the stuff that he's spending on this literally is money he makes by making videos about doing the good thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he does a good thing, but he makes a video of it, so he makes money, and that money goes to the good thing. Right? Um, but is it sacrifice? No. There's no sacrifice there whatsoever. Um, is he doing it for personal gain? Yeah, because by the fact, the way that he does it, by, by publicizing what he's doing is a good deed, he becomes more popular. When he becomes more popular, he makes more money. That money then goes to doing the next thing. So in reality, by Roman Catholic standards, literally nothing he's ever done has been charity. Does that mean that it's bad? I don't know. <laughs> that, I guess that's a moral question. That's a subjective question for an individual to answer. Um... And I think that's really where the issue comes in. That a lot of people out there disagree with what he's doing. I actually saw someone call it charity porn. Meaning, it's something that's addicting and fun to watch. But is it actually meaningful and good for humanity when the only reason that it can continue is because it makes the guy more money? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. These are interesting dilemma-style questions. Because we never, as, as, hu as a human race, I don't think we've ever had that ability before. Did we ever know of a single person on this planet that got rich and famous because they were helping others, right? And then, is that, you know what I mean? I guess everyone's a little different um, with how they how they go through life. And this guy somehow find this form, found this formula that worked uh, where he could do good deeds only, but it also benefits him. I, I don't know, man. I mean, I guess not everyone can be Mother Teresa, right? Again, I can only tell you from my perspective growing up what I was taught. That doesn't mean what I was taught is right. I don't, I definitely do not agree with everything that I was taught as a Roman Catholic. Let me put it that way too. Like, definitely not. So, I guess everyone will have a different take on it. And I think that's one of the reasons why, why people have this gross disagreement about it, you know? I guess there's a lot of questions to be had. Like, here's here's an interesting question that I don't know if anyone has ever asked whatsoever, okay? And this is a question that maybe needs to be asked. So, Mr. Beast goes out there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Mr. Beast goes out there and... Oh, man, I really screwed up. There you go. Mr. Beast goes out there and he helps someone. He gives them money, uh, help or whatever. Has there ever been a follow-up whatsoever to find out if anything he's done has actually helped or been effective? Or is it just, just follow him just for the sake that he makes the video and that's the end of it? And, oh, he did the good deed. It's done. Right? I don't know. Has he has he started any actual charities to help people? Or is he just dumping money on people to help them once one and done? I'm gone so that I can make my video and make out for myself. Right? I think there's a lot of questions to be asked. And by the way, I am not saying one way or another that it's bad or good at all. You know what I'm saying? So, 
you know, I guess, again, I can't really make a qualified answer to that question until I have more information, which I, I mean, I'm a gamer. I'm not sitting here doing research on the internet about these things. So I can't give an in-depth perspective on any of it, you know. <clears throat> I'm being told apparently he does lots of good things. Darth Galbox says he runs food pantries and shelters in his state. Uh, I'm being told by Mustache he planted millions of trees. You're really hesitant to accept he's a good dude. Again, Mustache, I know none of this. What you have to understand is I'm not like all of you. I'm not sitting on the internet following these memes and shit. I don't know anything about it. I really don't. I just hear what I heard from, hear from you guys every once in a while. I'll watch a video or read a thread. I, I don't have all the information. See, see, for me, here's the thing. I'm a skeptic, and here's why I'm a skeptic. Because, sadly, in life, I've found that a lot of times these things end up being not what they appear to be. How many times do you hear, oh, this good charity or whatever, and you find out the money didn't go to what it was supposed to, it didn't do the right thing, it, or it was kind of a, oh, we went to help someone and we dropped a bunch of help and left and come to find out didn't help them at all, they didn't have the means to use what we dropped them or whatever, so it was a waste of everyone's time and money, you know what I mean? Like, there's all these factors that come into play, and I don't know any of them, because I don't follow it, you know, I don't. So you, you know, you're coming to a gamer stream, you know, asking me about this as if I'm supposed to know, I don't know shit. I'm not gonna say good or po good or bad things about the guy. I don't know nothing about him. I can't really answer, you know. I received uh, appears to be a two dollar tip. Let's take a look here. From the scrub, he says, uh, "I know you know I like your streams, but Mr. Beast take was awful. I don't have a take." The scrub, I literally don't have a take. I just said I don't have a take. I don't have enough information. I don't know anything about him. Well, what, how could you make a take out of something that I literally said, I don't know, I can't have a take? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously. Can you stop with that? Because you know what I hate? Misinformation. Because what will happen is, people say, oh, did you hear Phil's take on Mr. Beast tonight? Oh, what a horrible take. I don't have a take. Again, I said I didn't do research. I don't have the information. I'm not going to say without information if something is good or bad or right or wrong. You got to stop with that nonsense. Yeah, you gotta stop with that shit, because I don't like when people put words in my mouth. That really pisses me off. So, you gotta stop with that crap, alright? <laughs> See, this is the thing that gets me, too. So, Sith Alchemist says, basically, he doesn't believe that Mr. Beast would plant 20 million trees. They say, it sounds like bullshit, right? But that's what I mean. For every person that says one thing, there's someone who says the opposite. So, one person will be like, yeah, Mr. Beast is an amazingly awesome charitable dude. And then someone else will say, nah, the whole thing's bullshit, <laughs> you know? Uh, now, how do you believe? I don't know. 